In this video, we're going to learn how to generate a full section view and a remove the section view in Katia, and how to shorten a long object, how to render a customized image in Katia. After I open the part, let's follow the naming convention to name the part. Your part name is also your file name. Make sure you show the consistency. After you save your part file, you can switch to the given template file to save your drawing file. Make sure you continue to use your part name as your drawing file name. Focus on the title block. Name this part as fork. Update your name and the completion date. This is the second sheet we want to generate, so update to 2 slash 2. Switch back to the working view, focus on the front view. Click the YZ plane to import the front view. Right click the frame from the properties to reduce the scale by half, and then check the box in front of the hidden line center line axis and check the box in front of the fillets. This is the front view. Continue to use the projection view to introduce the top view. Continue to use the isometric view to import the isometric view. Because of the limited room, we're going to reduce the scale of the isometric view to be the half scale of the orthographic projection. In our case, it is 1 to 4. Consider the full section view. Because the cutting plane line is going to apply to the top view, so make sure you double click the frame of the top to activate the top. Use offset section view to apply the cutting plane line to the top view. Replace the regular front view to be the full section view. Hide the hidden lines. The material property is plastic. You can double click the section line to look for the particular material pattern. Next to the hatching, click the three dots. Look for the proper material pattern. Let's use this plastic as an example. Adjust the length of the center lines. Next the section view we want to generate is the remove the section view. Use the offset section cut to generate the remove the section view. Since there are two section views generated, we want to use the name of the cutting plane lines to name the two section views. One as a section A dash A, the other one as section B dash B. You can press down the shift key to adjust the position of the name. After it, we want to use the broken view to shorten the fork in each view. Suppose this is a very long piece. To save the room, you do not want to reduce the scale, but shorten the piece. 
focus on the horizontal center line to generate two vertical green color lines to determine the spacing you want to shorten. In order to apply the broken view in the each view, you want to activate the specific view first and then apply the broken view. We'll shorten the fork, affect the actual dimensions of the fork. Let's measure the center to center distance and apply the dimensions to the piece to see if we still have the actual dimensions. One is 90 millimeter, the other one is uh, 200 millimeter. Use the dimension lines, click the center line from the each side. Show the expression as numerical decimal millimeter. One should be 200 millimeter. The other one should be 90 millimeter. Finally, let's make sure we can shorten the isometric view. Double click the frame and then continue to use the broken view to generate two green color vertical lines to determine the spacing you want to shorten. We want to show the long break lines which shortens a long object. To change the line expression, you want to click the current line expression from the upper right corner to look for the particular long break line expression. Save your work. Let's convert the current drawing into a PDF file. Open the PDF file to take a look. Here are the views we have generated. Finally, we are going to work on the rendered image of the fork. Switch back to the part design workbench. Use Photo Studio Easy Tools to select the scene. Instead of using the available images, you can also choose the image from your computer. You can zoom in or zoom out. You can adjust the position of the part. You can also select the area you want to generate. After that, you can render the image and save the image. Choose the particular type you want to save. Let's open the file, take a look. Thanks for watching. Happy Easter.